that's welcome. The Honourable Yao Bla. Yay. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. You're doing great. Eh? I see your hair growing. I see your song doing well. <laughs> hey, shall you chill though? And they won't be like you. Oh, no, no, no. You are the star, Charlie. We, <laughs> we follow the star, so you are the star. You know, but how's it been for you? Well, um, it's not really been easy, um, coupled with the fact that um, COVID came to mm. interfere with the plans that we had for um, after the show, Mentor, that is. Um, we've been trying to use most of the digital platforms to do more of the marketing and um, promoting the projects that we are putting out. But so far, so good. I mean, so far, so good. Yeah. And the fame too is catching on, eh? People <laughs> are recognizing you. People are giving you freebies and all of that. Oh, the freebies, you get a couple. Yeah, then you see people in town be like, ah, you are black and all that. But yeah, so we are still trying to grow the brand. More. Oh, I see. Has it hindered you some things that you used to do in well, the past? First of all, you can't just go anywhere now and um, now I have to always be with them um, maybe a couple of my boys when we are going out because I can't be alone the pressure you can't do the there. buying of watch by the road <laughs> and all those things eh? yeah. but Babakuma is a very beautiful song I told you of it that I love the visuals very clean yeah. visuals and all of that tell me how, how did that come about um okay so Makuma was a vibe I had with um a, a friend of mine Desi um he came from tech he just hit me up on Twitter that Oh yeah, I want to work with you. So we just um, entered the studio and we had the we were having a conversation and then the whole idea came about. So we just recorded a song and then um, we just put together the visuals and put it out there. So how are you defining yourself now? Like what I hear is it soul music? Is it R and B? You know what? Have you placed yourself in any uh, category? Or yeah. are you doing any particular genre? Okay, so the. The focus is on um, Afro pop, mm. but then we have um, songs with soul and, and R and B in. But then the main push will be with the Afro pop and Afro beats. Mm. Yeah. And, and you released this two months ago. Yeah. What's so, been the feedback? Um, it's been amazing so far. Um, first, at first, if you release a video, put uh, put it out on YouTube and all that, you get like a thousand views. Not even up to that. Um, God being so good, we've been able to reach about 17,000 plus with this. Wow, and, um, within two months. Yeah, mm. we're still pushing to get more on it. Well, he says we're yeah. still pushing to get more. Okay. So it means that people love you this way. Uh, is that what he said? Because he said before, now when you put videos up, it's difficult for you to reach a certain number. Yeah. Is it that people love you this way? They love the style? Uh, well, I think um, the platform... Um, given by TV3 TV mm. has also like factored it because um, now many people know of you, of you and our social media pages are more active so pushing stuff out there is way easier than it used to be before and you get um, content promoters and other people also reaching out um, because they've seen you on TV3 they want to help you out and all that. So, um, big ups, media general and TV. Hey, yeah. and good for you and great. Also, you didn't sleep and after the conversation, decided yeah. to uh, work some more. But another conversation I've heard people say is, "Oh, do you have any intention of rebranding? Will you ever shift from the name Yao Black to something else?" Uh, no. No. Yeah. Okay. The reason they ask all the time is that you know, people when people are trying to mention Yao Black, sometimes they call Yao Beck. Yeah. I don't know if you've had that happen to you. Um, no. You've not had that happen to you. I've had yeah. a, a couple of people say, oh, that guy from oh, Mental Yao yeah, Beck, and I'm like, no, yeah, his name black. is Yao yeah, Black, you know. <laughs> well, um, okay, so um, the team and I have been working around the clock to make sure that stuff like that don't interfere with our progress. Mm. So um, even with um, Google, we have worked around the S SEOs and stuff, so... Anytime you Google your Black, you get the full profile and information, uh, songs and projects from Mentor to, to the new ones that we are doing and all that. So we've not really been sleeping on like the platform giving us. We've been able to work on it. And so um, I don't think it will be necessary to rebrand or try to, to change the name. And, and you represented so. the Western Zone. Was yeah. it that you were based in Takradi or you just went there to audition? Um, I just went there to audition. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're not from even that nah. region. Okay, because I was going to say, are you are you back here in Accra or you're still based out there? Uh, I'm, I'm, I stay in Cape Coast. Oh, you then, stay in Cape Coast? Yeah. Okay. But then I come to Accra from time to time. Anytime there's work and I have to come, I just move with the team and then we come, finish it up and go back. 
How, how, how has Cape Coast treating you? Like, you, you become a star. <laughs> <laughs> how are they treating you? Well, Cape Coast is it's fun and um, it's, 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 it's been nice. There was this time I went to a laundry and then it just saw, oh, yeah, you're yeah, black. Oh, thank you for making us proud. Yeah, it's on us. <laughs> So freebies, you know, yeah. freebies already. <laughs> Keep going to the laundry. Eh? No, no, I never try to wash myself. There's a lot of conversation going on. Just before we came, <laughs> the cameraman in studio is trying to ask you black if all the girls in the video are Kayaye. Uh, that got me. That got me. Because exactly, I was expecting what you said, Kayaye. Like yeah. we're expecting headquarters, you know, you know, and all of that. And yeah. we saw beautiful girls in there doing in bikinis and all of that. And it's a total contrast of what you know Kayaye's would ordinarily do. Yeah. Okay. So this guy basically is stealing my heart away. She's carrying my heart away. Where it's is not she? Like... Watching the video. She was in the video. The one who was in like this. <laughs> hey, this this yeah. your Kayaye. Yeah, she's <laughs> superb. Very. Got, you know what? Somebody was even trying to, you know, hold brief for you that is Kaya or whatever, or <laughs> something that is Ga, you know. But this is what we know, Kaya Ye. Yeah. Know? Oh, okay. Why did you decide to use that title, though? Um. Okay. So this song, this song was a vibe. I think a friend influenced it. Mm. He called me and he was like, "Oh, yeah. Um, I think we are working around the new rhythm, and you'd be the best person to like execute this." So I was like, okay, um, just send it to me so that I can add my own touch and then make it my own. So did he sing so this, it or he wrote the lyrics and sent he, to you? He, what, what? he wrote some of the lyrics. Okay. So like we, we co-wrote the song with, together with Kwe. The, the guy who was featured song. in the, what's yeah. his name? Kwe? Yeah, Kwe. Okay. He's not Nigerian? So, no, no, he's Ghanaian. Hey, he's, you guys were having some Nigerian vibe yeah, in there. Yeah, he's a fancy. Um, okay. Yeah, so um, he sends over the whole the, the hook idea mm. and then um, scripted something. So we just came together to make it like very catchy and then make it a vibe. So Kai it wasn't just like a black idea. It was the whole team that sat together to bring this out. So basically what we've been doing is we we are trying to build something that will be solid and then so your black is just the face of the brand for the whole team because we have other creatives we have um, writers, we have um, photographers, videographers, and everything, editors. So we're just coming together. I yeah. see they're doing a very good job on you. Yeah. Are you guys making dough? Are you paying them? Or you guys are doing <laughs> better work for now? Okay, so for now, it's, we, we are not like really getting paid. No one is getting paid. It's because we are trying to build um, something right. together. Mm. So it's not going to be for just me if it blows out. It's going to be for the whole team and everyone involved in trying to build this up. The fusion of languages, I heard a bit of pidgin there, yeah. there's a bit of ga in there. Why did you decide to that? Is that what you said will give the vibe that you're looking for? Yeah. You know, you want to cross markets. That's that's basically it. So um, we even use a bit of Nigerian vibe, mm -hmm. like Nigerian words and all that. Because we, we, don't, we don't want to just target the Ghanaian market. We want to go across borders, get international, get more um, features, bigger features from out there and then make Ghana bigger. Who, who, since you're talking about getting bigger features, who are your targets? You know, do you have any particular personalities in mind that you're targeting and well, saying that yes, I, I want to work couple. with this person? I have a couple, yeah, but then a couple I'll, is two. So who? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for now, uh -huh. the the two main features that I would die for would be one with uh, Mr. Easy and oh, okay. um, Kofi Kenata. Oh, yeah. uh, Kofi Kenata is not supposed to be a big deal. He's from the west side. You're from central region. Yeah. You represented the western zone. Just, you know, how at Bra Kofi and let's see how it goes. Have you, have you made an effort though? Um, yeah, but then it's, it's all behind the scenes. It's all behind so, the scenes, yeah. eh? And Mr. Easy, maybe when he comes to Ghana, you know, and Hopefully. then... Well, let's talk about, you know, um, what the future holds for you as a brand. Now, I see that the two songs that you release, I see that, yeah, do you call that soul, R&B, or are we going to see, I asked you already, is yeah. this the terrain that you're going to be on, or yeah. you're going to say one day, say, oh, I want to do gospel, reggae, you know, I want to do, you know, high life, reggae, so whatever, whatever. Music, music is a vibe, hmm. and you don't plan to write a particular song, sometimes it just comes. Um, we, have, we have a lot of projects that we are done with that we've not even released yet. And there are some songs that are like Afro Soul and we have a bit of Lavish Rock. We have basically a lot of projects, but then we try to infuse it with the 
Afro rhythm. So we can have um, maybe like R&B and then like have the vocals very smooth and sweet and all that on an Afro beat and all. So we are not trying to restrict ourselves, but then the focus will be on the Afro bit. Mm. Yeah. If there's any one wish that uh, you want to be granted, as how do you how do you categorize yourself? Do you call yourself an up and coming? Do you call yourself a, a new artist? How do you how, what what do you call yourself? Huh. That's a, a very difficult question. Why is it? Well, um, for one, I don't know how to categorize myself. Oh, okay. But I think why, why is think, it difficult? I think I'm a rising star, so very soon I'll be out there. Mm. Like everyone will see. It. There, there are challenges that come with every rising star, and that's what yeah. you want to be called. If there was, you're on TV, if there was yeah. an appeal you could make to make, you know, the challenges that you have to encounter on a daily, you know, become even better or, or ease those challenges, what would that be? Well, um, I, would, I would say getting airplay as an, like, an upcoming and rising star is quite difficult mm. in Ghana. Getting... DJs to rotate your song on radio and get your videos out there. It's quite difficult and it's very expensive too. So if there's any way that like any system could be put in place to help um, upcomers put their music out there, get more people to listen to it, I think it would be great. Not just for me, but all the people coming up with great music that need to be heard. Yeah. Have you heard that from next month, I think, uh, there's going to be a classification board and then you have to submit all your videos to them to classify before even a TV station can play and all of that. Have you heard about that? No. Uh, so great stuff, when team. You still have some work to do. Anyway, thank you very much for coming through our studio. Thank and this is home, me. so anytime you have, you know, your works, please come through. We are ever ready to promote and support our own. Thank you very much for making us proud. Thank you very I'm proud much, of you. Please be. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's uh, yes, Yael Black uh, having a conversation with us. You want to check two of his songs. You saw them, Makuma and Kayaye. The Kayaye is a favorite of everyone. You want to enjoy more of that on YouTube, right? You'll find it on YouTube. That'll be it for our conversation. Thank you very much once again.